if uh, someone like uh, uh, Barack Obama or, or Edwards scores any points in Iowa and New Hampshire, such uh, maybe they knock Hillary out of the top slot. The, the general thinking is that that simply delays the inevitable, which is that she's going to get the Democratic nomination. Things, I think, are a little more fluid on the um, Republican side. Uh, Mike Huckabee has been a very engaging but underfunded candidate, which is ideal for caucus states like uh, Iowa and small states like uh, New Hampshire. Very engaging uh, in person. He uh, is religious, but he's not scary in the way that Pat Robertson sometimes scares people. So he can appeal to a, uh, uh, he can be a crossover candidate. And so again, could make some inroads. But one of the things I learned in politics is that once you get beyond those retail states, and you have to run in states like New York, California, Texas, Florida, where you can't even come close to shaking everybody's hand, the marketers take over. And they will eventually create the more enduring impression. And of course, the only way to get marketing is with funding. So the, uh, the early states are critical, critical for the underfunded candidates and optional for the well-funded candidates because they have a chance of making that up in the larger states. The other interesting phenomenon, and this was something that was uh, told to me by uh, Carl Jeffers, who appears on my show as a commentator from, from time to time, is that this is um, a very rare election, as you know. It's an open seat for the presidency. But it's also rare in that we will very likely, by March, know who the um, Republican and Democratic candidates are, which sets up basically a three-person presidency for March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and a little bit of November. So what a good eight months where you're going to have three people trying to run the country at the same time. It's something that uh, we haven't seen for a long time, but which is um, ideal for talk shows. And it will be interesting <laughs> to see whether you hear any radical ideas or whether once uh, all these people start getting their, their official courtesy CIA briefings. Um, on the big international issues, they all end up on the same page, which uh, I don't know if that will have um, too much of an effect on the Republican vote, but it could really tick off the move on wing of the Democratic Party, which wants to see something a lot more radical than we're seeing from the candidates so far, except, of course, for Pence.